Now it's time to put what we've learned to use by creating an application. The application we're going to create is going to scan barcodes from food packaging and display information about the product using the Open Food Facts API. In case you are not familiar with them, barcodes themselves simply represent sequences of numbers which is what we'll be sending to the API. Also you might ask what exactly is an API. A web API is a service on the web that can be used to access data or perform operations in a remote system. Like many APIs, the Open Food Facts API can be accessed even directly from the browser. A sample URL looks like this. From the URL we can deduce that we are using the version 0 of the API and we are querying a product. The last part is the number sequence from a barcode with the .json ending telling us we are going to get JSON data from this API call. In the browser we can also see the returned JSON data but it's not very useful for us right now. We are also going to apply just a few software development principles, the first one of which is separation of concerns. This simply means that we design our applications as sections that address a single part of the problem we are trying to solve. As the first such section, we are going to address the user interface of the application. In other words, all the elements the user sees and can interact with. With this in mind, let's sketch out the main view for our app. First we need a button that starts the scanning process. Then we need to display the data fetched for the barcode. Pretty simple stuff. Now we can go ahead and build this layout. I'll use a button component and then some paragraphs for the data display. Using the AppGyver preview app, we can see that the button works, but of course nothing happens yet. And with that, we are ready to get into the logic of this application.